So I have added two more products and I also added a new creator that is called Mark because we will use it later on. Um, but now this one, actually, if we try to edit this one, you will see that it actually has two images at the bottom here. So, and this will be important later on, because if I only had one, well, then I have had less of a problem that we will see. But let's try to view these uh, products. So if I try to view the handmade lamp and I click view, you see that while I see the title, but I see nothing of the product info, no price, no images, no anything of the thing that I entered into my pod. So how can we get them into this page. Well, for that we need to create what's called a template. And you do that in the pods admin and pod templates. So let's go here and let's create a new template. And normally you create one template when you're viewing a single item and another template for when you're viewing a list of items. So let's add a product single first and let's go down here into the template field. And here, this template, um, what you write is plain HTML, but with some magic tags. And to see what you can add as magic tags, you need to select the pod um, as your reference. Or you don't need to do that, but if you do that, you get help when you write because you get an auto completion. So let's start writing this one. And as it is uh, plain HTML, let's uh, say that we would like to wrap this into an uh, article maybe with a class equals product uh, like this. And that you went away. Um, and then let's say that we would like to have a div here with a class equals product dash dash info and here we would like to output the product info that we have here and to get these content into this with the templating engine you write a curly braces and then the ampersand and now you see you get a pop-up list here so now i have product info selected so i can just hit return and then we close the div and then we can close the article like this and we should close that fully so and now if i publish this on and now uh, to not need to go back and forth all the time i open the products in a new tab instead so um now if i try to view this one you see that there is nothing showing up still uh, and the reason for that is that we also need to tell um pods that you should use this template that i just created so let's edit the pods and let's go here and edit this one. And now under uh, auto template options, I need to enable this one. And now as a singular template, I select my product single and save this pod. So now if I go back and reload, we now see that, okay, here is the product info. So let's add some more fields to our template. Uh, so let's edit this one. And let's go down here and let's say that we would like to have a p tag uh, with a class equals product price. And then we add the price tag here. And now maybe we would like to. Um, have some let's say the price colon for example and uh, maybe even with a capital p like this and as you see um you can of course write whatever html code you need but let's also add the images so how can i add this well i have the image field here so i can of course try to use that one so let's add images here and let's see what this one outputs so let's update this one and let's go back here and reload and we see that now we have the price and here well we have the full url to the image okay and as you see this image is from victor freitas or how that is pronounced i'm not that sure but thank you for the image uh it's from pexels again um, 
So, but as we have the URL, well, then we probably know how to fix that one. So let's say that we would have maybe a span and and maybe we should have a span and not a psan span. And we add a class for that one also, class uh, product image uh, like that. And we should spell again correctly. Uh, product image and then we know that this is the URL so of course we can add an image tag with a source equal the URL and then we can close the span and we are hopefully done so let's update this one and let's go back and reload and way and behold we have our image so nice and now if we go back to the products and what happens here when we have two images uh, well, we get a broken image signal. And if we inspect this one, we will see why. Because as the source, it has added both URLs to both the images. So how can we fix that? Well, there is a built-in specific uh, command in these the, um, the templates that you can use. And that is the each. And you write this with hard um, brackets. So each and then images. So let's try this one. And let's close this one down here. Uh, and you close it with a forward slash and each. And if you're anything used to HTML, you probably know that you kind of the same as with HTML tags. So let's update this one. And let's see what we have here again. So let's reload. And now we have nothing. And the reason for that is that when you go into the images, you can't use the tag in itself. So you need to have something else. So now you're kind of into everything that we have here. So what if I write ID, you will get the image ID. If I write the post title well then i get the post title for the image <clears throat> um, because they are actually saved in the post table um, so is there anything here we can use well if i scroll down we see that we have the global unique id that i can use and that is the kind of the full uh, link for that one so if i say guid here and i didn't because i was not selected there guid uh, and as you see i don't write images uh, dot guid because i'm already into the images part so now if i update again and if i go back and reload you see that now i have both my images here so nice now we have a template and we can use that for the single parts and let's see how we now can create a template for the list um, version